Hey, my wisdom lights. Welcome to your November reading. First up is water signs, all right? So make sure you get your pens and papers and let's get down to the wisdom of the tarot for the month of November. So I know I've been going to many y'all. So we had a lot of things going on behind the scenes, revamping, revitalizing, re redoing a lot. You know, it's still retrograde season till January. So I want y'all to really reflect right now. Like what has the past couple months been like for you you know so thinking about the last couple months astrology it was pluto square the nose and those switching to a new uh, zodiac sign so it's been north node aries south node um libra so the nose shifted back into capricorn so those areas of lives those houses have been highlighted for the past couple of months so what has been subconsciously changing for you? What have you been dumping? Okay, so those type of questions I want you to highlight, ask yourself, and reflect on, okay? So let's get into it for the water signs, all right? Thank y'all for tuning in again. I apologize for not being here for the past three months, but I've been here, all right? I've been with y'all in spirit, okay? So let's get to the reading. Y'all, you know how I do it. Let's get it. Look, we back. We back. We back. Okay. So, first up, we doing Cancer. Sun, moon, are rising. All right. At the end, we're going to pull our overall guidance card to see the theme of the month. All right. So, first up, we have Career. So, Cancer, Sun, Moon, are rising. Let's see what the money look like for Cancer. All right. So, Cancer, we have Unfulfilled that came out for you. All right. It says, you could have an emotional attachment to a job that is no longer serving you explore your wants and needs and consider a change you're unhappy with your income but too scared to make any changes all right so this one again same thing what i just said about the astrology deep thinking okay remember pluto generally scorpio energy generally rules therapy so a lot of deep thought um trauma of like of like why me why now why this um pause this unhappiness find a career or get a second like you know you got your main job line of income get a second passive income cancer that aligns with your happiness all right we got to have a balance we can't have happy good all the time so find something with that balance for you Okay, so next we're going to look at the tarot for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Y'all, look, I'm breaking it down. I haven't been here in a minute, so this might be a long video. So I'm going to just take care of y'all, okay? You know how I do for my wisdom lights. All right? Make sure y'all share this video, like, comment, subscribe, all right? So let's see. We also have eight. So I'm going to take both of them, you know? I only pull one, so we're going to take both of these. The energies of the tarot says eight of pentacles in will of fortune. So a lot, a lot of change, even from the money card, the career card, to even the eight of pentacles being a money manifestation card, hard work, hard work paying off, will of fortune. So again, knowing the astrology, it's best to get astrology reading. You can book with me on my website, all right? The links will be in the description box below. So right now for the tarot, the theme of November, I'm seeing a lot of the cancers working. I mean, working real hard, trying to get it, trying to achieve, trying to get something completed. Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So be patient, be kind with yourself. Check your emotions, your water sign. So make sure you check your emotions. We also have another card, Wheel of Fortune. What goes up must come down. We have all four of the fixed zodiac sign, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. This is a lot of energy of being stubborn. And it is an alignment because you're working hard, you're trying to complete something, you're unhappy. It's just a lot of emotions all over the place and it can lead to stubbornness. So shift your perspective on what it is I need to change. Because if you don't change it, the Wheel of Fortune card always talks about the universe will do it for you. Okay, so it's better you do it because if God do it, you might not like it. Okay, it might be real hard. Okay, so we rather flow with the tide, not against it. Okay, so let's see the full theme of November for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Okay, we got the love department. Let's see for the love, the heart. Ooh, sacrifice. What is going on? Sacrifice for love must give up something painful decisions. 
And then they got the Jesus headpiece on here. That's too much pain for cancer. Well, Scorpio, it's Scorpio season. That's your fifth house. So the heart. So the heart, the relationships, children. Um, um, what else? The other? Talents, hobbies, hobbies. So I am in alignment with that. So you need to find a hobby, something makes you happy, joy for you. And again, the water signs deal with some type of sacrifice. So it's Scorpio season, your fifth house, your heart chakra, um, relationships, new love could come in. Or, oh, all things could be flushed out. Remember, Scorpio rules things flushing out. So it, be, it, it could be a purge. It could be a purge. Pluto square the nose, the rule of your fifth house, Pluto, Capricorn, square the nose. Um, yeah, it could be a purge because uh, Capricorn is Cancer seventh house. So a lot of y'all can be leaving partners, ending partnerships, finding new relationships, Cancer. But remember, Pluto is, it could lead to stalker, it could lead obsession, it could lead to abuse. So just be mindful. Well, it's at the tail end. You already been through it. So just be mindful of uh, your next cycle of relationships because you, you cut the cord. Pluto is end of the line. So you cut the cord, Cancer. And I'm proud of you, but it's time for you to change. That's the main thing. You're not happy, so change it. Okay, cancel someone arriving. Okay, so we're going to pull a guidance card for cancer right now. Yes. Alignment, butterfly, maiden, transformation. So this is perfect pattern. You got the dark tones, light tones. It's all over the place. I love it. So with this, you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. You got to walk through it. But you got to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And you shall fear no evil. Okay, that's what the scripture just came through, through to me is that. We all have been through some heavy things right now. So it is the perfect alignment for this goddess to come out and allow you to transform and release it. I love it. And it also reminds me of Ascension journey. So ascending, yes, with the Wheel of Fortune, cancel someone to rise. Remember, if you want to go deeper, book a private session, okay? You can uh, hit the links. The links will be in the description box below. All right. So let's move on to Scorpio. Happy birthdays to the Scorpions. All right. You're more than Scorpio. You have the Phoenix. You have some spiders. You have the snake. You have a lot of things, Scorpio. Um, so I, I just want to say I'm proud of the Scorpios. All right. We just ended the clip cycle for uh, Taurus and Scorpio. And I just want to say congratulations on your graduation. All right. Happy birthday to all the Scorpios this year. All right. So let's see. First up for career. What is going on with Scorpio finances? Okay. We're going to take. Dang, okay. I know. We're going to take that one. And that one was pulling out crafter. So creativity. We got growth. No, this is too many. Women. We're going to tell, let me look at it. Let me be nosy. Let me look, let me be nosy. Okay, justice, business, comfort, counselor, crafter. So you're all over the place. Okay, so water signs, you're already giving me a theme. You're giving me a theme, you're all over the place. So vision board, out the gate. Write that down. Vision board, gets things written, get things clear. Uh, Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. So I'm going to take the first card and we'll give you a synopsis. Crafter, uh, Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. Crafter, it says, there's something wonderful just waiting to be expressed with your hands. Consider careers doing homemade items or some kind of craft project. Think of ways to generate money that no others have done before or try something new. Okay, you got counselor. Okay, so you might need some therapy. Maybe time for some emotional healing or of your own or release the past. Careers in counseling, psychic work, or energy healing may appeal to you now. Your mental or emotional troubles could be blocking your abundance. Stubborn. Get out your own way. All right. And I'm a, this is the last one. We got comfort, you know, finding something comfortable, business. So this is a good theme of like, it's like you're still figuring out who you are, but now is the time to get it out, okay? Remember, uh, Sagittarius is your second house of income, so this is a good leeway to um, that business card right here to get that 
once you get that creativity flowing you can express it through uh making money off what you create okay so just remember that tidbit right there so the last call for career you got justice something in your life needs to be brought into alignment in your life yes alignment okay your career may be in law such as police military and courts or the criminal justice be sure to be honest and ethical in money matters or you'll face the consequences so do people right get you some good karma you got one of my favorite goddesses of justice okay all right let's get to the tarot okay okay let's see the tarot say for my babies the scorpios look don't bite us don't bite us okay okay scorpio okay magician okay yeah, it's time to work your magic it's time to be creative so we have the magician and we have the temperance your archangel came out this is archangel michael card and it's also saying um it's time to work that magic something a download meditate something coming from the spirit realm to the physical i love this for my scorpios because it's time for a transformation with the magician so it's going back to the craft the card so she, you see in the magician card she has all five elements you know she got the pinnacle she got the sword she got the cup she got uh the wand okay and she let me see in the original card it's supposed to be eat oh yeah she yeah, she got file four and the one represents ether so manifestation is happening right now for my baby scorpios all right temperance temperance is a sagittarius card going back to your money your second house as a second point so your money is being highlighted right now your finances is being highlighted right now scorpio we have the sun in the background we have a highlight a lot of yellow so consciousness something you becoming aware of of self-worth who you are um, remember her foot is in the water and then one foot is on land. So this is something high level manifestation because you got two manifestation cards happening, but temperance is patience. Okay. Don't rush things, plan it out. Talk to somebody. Remember you got the council card. Remember Kings and Queens had this. They didn't, this was normal for everybody to have access to tarot readers, astrologers, and stuff like this. So take heed to, um, seeking counsel before you, um, Make a move, okay? Seek counsel. So make sure you have a good tarot reader astrologer on board on staff for you, all right? Let's sum it up with the uh, love card. Let's see what's going on in the love department for Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising, all right? Let's see. Okay, we're going to take this one. This one wants to come out. Okay, so we do have a heart chakra alignment, closed heart crowning. So we have mutual feelings. Your feelings are mutual, equal give and take, compromise. So getting out your own way, changing something up, releasing old patterns, accepting the new, being patient. The overall word I'm hearing is alignment. Alignment, trust the flow, trust the process, and um, take action, but plan first. Plan this out and um confidence. That's the big word too with this magician one where I looked at it in the red. You got three cards with red in it, and it has um, yep, one of my goddesses. We have Isolot. Isolot says undying love for Scorpio, Sun Moon Horizon. And she got the red over her heart. So this is a heartfelt connection. This is a heartfelt energy coming up right now. Passion, drive. The love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. The love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. And she has her chakras highlighted. So this is a soul combustion. You may be feeling somebody real, real close, and it's just, you're shaking, okay? So just remember that patience, meditate. If you want to go deeper, book a private session with me. The links will be in my description box below. I love you all, okay? So let's get to the last sign we have Pisces. Pisces is going through it. You got the ruler Neptune, and you got um Saturn. About to go direct in Pisces on the 4th of November. Let's see career. Okay. Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. We got setbacks. Okay. Setbacks. Remember, Saturn is karma. So something karmic is playing out. Remember, karma is neither good or bad. All right. Your attempts to increase your income have been largely unsuccessful. This financial setback is forcing you to get more organized with your finances. Don't lose hope. Okay, write that down. Highlight that. Do not lose hope. Use this time to learn from your mistakes. Okay, so don't beat yourself up. You got this. 
meditate, journal, get it out. Let's see what the tarot have to say. The tarot is going to piece this. Oh, I like this. Queen of Cups, mother issues. Mother issues. Let's see. Let's see. Because mother, a reason why I'm saying mother issues because setbacks. Remember, is a theme. We, we're going left to right. We're looking at a story. Let's see. Yep, the magician, magic. So something around your creativity, something around your flow. It could be another woman. It could be another situation rising up. It could be something. Um. It could be uh. You might have to work your magic. Magic on what? Magic and what? We got the infinity loop. So we got two cards talking about karma. Remember, a queen is somebody you can't control. A queen is something high up. A queen is a manager, a mother, father type energy. Something that when they set their tone or rule for something, it's set. So it could be um, setbacks to manifestation. Setback to like you could be going back and forth with somebody older than you. And they could be like trying to, hey, hey, you should do this. You should do this. But the path is unclear. The path is unclear. The path is unclear. Because look at her head down, but her hand is up. So it's a confliction energy, a back and forth. And that makes sense. This energy is back and forth. So I highly recommend, again, what I've been saying so far in the video, vision boards. And when I say vision board, it could be a notebook. Excuse me. It could be a notebook. It could be anything to get um, your creativity juice is flowing so you got a lot of oh opposites mirroring you got a lot of energy going on with you mirroring and pisces is side of mirroring so what's going on here okay the love call we have is mirroring you have mirroring each other something needs healing something seeing yourself in them so this is a lot of self-reflection do you like yourself let's start with that do you love yourself how deeply Okay, so what I'm seeing here is it's too much self-reflection. And then you got the card mirroring what is going on internally. Remember, that's your reality. That's not mine. So figure out why God is having this person situation. It could be a situation, child, whatever. Having that mirror back to you. What is they mirroring? What are they giving you? Do you like what they mirroring? Do you don't like? Well, do you love what they're mirroring? Okay, those are questions you have to ask yourself, all right? Okay, I, li I like this energy, but it's you just have to sit with it. The queen is on the board. Talk to mama. Talk to other. Talk, uh, talk to a female energy that you like, you trust. Because this could lead to something great, I'm seeing. Something great. Something great. What God is, is covering this? Re Ooh, my God. All right, we have Aphrodite. All right, one of my faves, Aphrodite. She says, inner goddess, awaken the uh, goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. So this is the hand of matriarch energy, the ancestors, uh, old school energy. So this energy is saying, touch your heart. Touch your hand. Aphrodite is sensual. Okay, look at the dove on her arm. Touch. Be okay with touching your soul, touching who you are. Um, look at the look at the queen. She's touching the cup. Touch is coming up. She's touching the door. She's touching the wand, and they touching their thighs right here. So touch is a theme right now. Of like, when I say touch, what do you feel? What do you feel? Do you like what you feel? This is deep. I like it. You about to go somewhere. Don't get lost in it. Don't get lost in where you about to go. I like this. This is a newfound self-respect. Key word right now for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Horizon. Self-respect. Insecurities mastered. Saturn and Pisces, you're about to master the insecurity. You're about to master uh, anything that's keeping you childlike. Remember, Saturn matures you. You're about to grow up. <laughs> you're about to grow up. So get ready to um, grow into who you need to be. 
with Aphrodite. All right, I love you all. And I will see you next month. Or I will see you on TikTok, okay? Take care. And remember, if you want to go deeper, book a private session, all right? Thank y'all all so much. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video.